It is referred to as the eyes of the world, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, also known as ALMA, is the largest radio telescope on Earth. These 12 meter antennas are helping scientists watch the universe in ways they have never seen before. Lorenzo Martinez Conde says that ALMA will revolutionize modern astronomy by allowing scientists to watch how stars, galaxies and planets are formed. We are after the elements that compose the universe, each molecule, each atom. Those elements have radio frequencies, which is what the antennas will capture. Each antenna costs around $10 million and weighs over 100 tons. For many, this place is a triumph of engineering, as the antennas are located in the Chajnantor Plateau in northern Chile, over 5,000 meters above sea level. This place is so high that it's difficult to breathe here. But high altitude is not the only reason why this place was chosen to build Alma. This is one of the driest deserts in the world. There's almost no humidity in the atmosphere that could prevent the antennas from capturing the wavelengths from the universe. ALMA will see things that the regular eye cannot see. And like optical telescopes, radio telescopes are designed to capture radio waves emitted by sources in space. Violet Impeliseri has been working in the area for months. But this dark region that we normally don't see with optical telescopes, with ALMA, they become the brightest, so we actually see through dust hmm. and we see through the dark clouds. She also says that they're also looking for planets that have conditions for life. Indirectly, we're looking for origin of life. For now, there are 23 antennas, but the plan is to have 66 of them that work together like one giant telescope. Astronomers hope that this place will give them the answers to questions that other observatories have not been able to provide. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Chajnantor Plateau, Chile.